Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, I want to start off with a thank you. We did get up to 27,000 subscribers on the channel, which is pretty cool. That, that's a nice number. Uh, and I appreciate any of you guys that did subscribe and just those of you that watch in general. Um, yeah, because we got a lot coming this week. So if you haven't, make sure you sub up. And uh, don't forget, it is that time of the month. We got to hit that refresher of the code chicken in the shop. If you want to be entered in the giveaway, that is coming up in another four weeks. Doing some changes with the giveaway. If you want to see more about that stuff, uh, just hit up the Discord server. Um, but yeah, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. Just going to make it easier for everybody to uh, to be able to enter and to, to get their winnings. So you'll notice uh, all my stuff is in, in euros. Or Sorry, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I got flamed pretty bad last time. I said that was a euro and it was something else. I don't know. I don't know anything. But uh, it's a different currency because I had to change my... Uh, my uh, my iPad location to Finland to download uh, Clash Quest, having all kinds of problems with that. Separate issue, separate game, separate channel. Clash with Chicken, if you haven't checked it out. But, guys, we got uh, we got the crab this week. We have uh, Season 24 just on the horizon. And what did I want to look at? Why am I floating around here? Uh, this looks pretty cool, actually. This June, this June on Boom Beach. Um, if you guys don't check out those videos, they post them once a month. It's kind of all over the place. Usually it's in the first couple weeks. Um, but yeah, I, I felt like in spirit of that, I was actually watching Mr. Zedmot's video the other day, and he was using a bunch of grenadiers um, in preparation or in excitement, rather, of the, what do you call these guys? The Shaka Grins? And it gave me some ideas for how uh, we could see them implemented on warships or something similar that I'll get into in just a second if we can ever get our troops loaded up here. We're going to use something wacky. Let's go with uh, two Scorchers, six Grenadiers, and I think we'll go with, uh, ah, let's go with Everspark. Just because she was so good to us last season for those of those of us who didn't, uh, who didn't pick her up. Um, yeah, so what I was thinking... You know, basically the the new proto troop, whatever it is, whenever it's coming, uh, it's a grenadier that instead of throwing bombs, throws uh, mini shock bombs. So the way those work is they individually stun a building, I guess, something like that. So you can essentially shock the whole. They look really cool. I'm excited to see them. Um, but you can essentially shock the whole island um, with these shock shockadiers, shockadiers, something like that. I guess that would be. Grenadiers, Bombardiers, Shockadiers. Anyway, so what I was thinking would be really cool, you know, for the new troops for warships, it's it's kind of, um, you know, we, we have the Melon Bombardiers, we have the uh, Heavy Choppers, the Rocket Choppers, obviously, those came in and were, were great. Um, you know, the Mechs, um, they, they sucked, They're just terrible, you know, not going to sugarcoat it, they were awful. Um... But what we typically see, we don't often see a new troop. Sometimes we see a spin on an old troop. So I, I really like the, uh, you know, the theme that they have for all the extra gunboat abilities, right? So uh, I, I forget if we had, uh, oh yeah, we had the freeze bombardiers too, right? What were they called? Um, Cryoneers. Cry no, that's something else. Uh oh, I'm looking kind of silly. But you guys know what I mean. The Frost Bombardiers that uh, did less damage, but they slowed down the, the buildings. So I think what only makes sense is to have um, Shocking Bombardiers, right? But instead of do, uh, shocking a single building, more splash damage. More like uh, how it looks like these these Grenadier prototroops are going to work. I think that would be really interesting. Um, but at the same time... You know, they, they've got to do some damage. So, I mean, if, if they're adding a shock effect, I don't know how they're going to do enough damage to still be viable. Um, because otherwise, you know, we're not going to be able to use heavy and zookas up to, to 6 and 70 R at the end of the warship season. Right? That doesn't typically happen. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on the chicken. Can you play along with this camera? Hey, okay, there's our finger. There you go. I don't know if that actually shows up for you guys when it gets all blurry like that. Maybe it like autofocuses when I'm recording, but for me it looks blurry sometimes. I don't know why. But um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what uh, what you guys think would be a cool, uh, an interesting new troop um, to mix into warships. I think um, 
I think if, even if we just simply, you know, I'm trying to stay in the realm of what's possible. Obviously, we could go on like for days, but like flying pelicans and you know, gigantic snowmen, robotic snowmen that that kind of roll over the uh, the entire the base. But to try to keep it somewhat realistic, so it's more um, likely to happen, I guess. Uh, you know, I I, I, I like the. Um, what th what they did with the bombardiers, you know, the melon bombardiers, that kind of came out of nowhere. That was just totally different. But um, just using the different gumboat abilities and just kind of morphing them in into a troop, like they did with uh, with the cryo bombardiers, uh, where they give them basically a cryo bomb that they're shooting out of their bazooka instead of just a regular bomb. I think stuff like that is easy and it's uh, you know it's fun and it's kind of exciting and it's just different right that's what all of this really comes down to is it's just uh you know we don't want the same uh troops we you know warships is fun regardless but we don't want the same troops we don't want the same um so i'll just make it a little bit different and i think that's easy to implement with gunboat ability stuff and just kind of put that twist on it um you know um where, where it just has, you know, it's, it's something that's already, like, in the game, so you're just kind of porting it over to, you know, obviously I don't know how any of that stuff works, but um, just kind of porting it over to the troop and just giving them a special ability for a season and making the season kind of about them, uh, I think is really cool. It doesn't have to just be bombardiers, you know, we could have ice scorchers or things like that. Um, I just wish if, if they would do this, that they would balance the troop or whatever it is properly so that it actually makes sense and it's actually useful. Because, I mean, you can make, like, the coolest mech that's got lasers coming out of its eyes, you know, big strap and wings on the back of it, and it's flying over top of the base shooting stuff. But, you know, if, if it costs 70 GB to put out and it doesn't do any damage, nobody's going to use it, right? So, it, you know, it, it, it's great to have new troops and stuff. But it's even better to have new troops that actually work and, uh, you know, not necessarily take over or dominate the meta, but have their place in it somewhere. I think that's kind of the biggest thing that, uh, you know, we would like to see. And we, we know that, the, the, you know, Supercell is capable of doing stuff like this. Like, you look at any of the other games, Brawl Stars, Clash Royale, um, you know, Clash of Clans, they, they mix stuff up all the time. They always have these special challenges. I don't think it's a... Uh, drastic drastic thing to just throw in a new troop or just something it doesn't even have to be a troop you know just something different uh, about the season so i am looking forward to uh to this worship season grounded now a couple of you guys pointed out in the comments didn't we already have the season already haven't we already seen this title the answer is yes i think it was um i'd have to go back and look but uh basically it was um i don't know like 13 14 maybe something around like that uh but basically what the season was was there was no heavy choppers and there's no rocket choppers um that was the biggest uh that that was the only real noticeable change i think we had melon bombardiers too like i touched on yesterday um but yeah yeah th th that was the biggest thing was taking away heavy choppers and rock choppers, which is cool which is cool you know i like that but again you know don't just do the same thing that we already did once like switch it up a little bit give us uh you know, proto troop tanks that are actually, you know, worth using. You know, balance them so that so they make sense. That stuff probably not going to happen if we're being realistic, but um, you know, we can hope. We can hope. So that's basically what I was thinking when I saw the um, the the shocking whatever you want to call it, the shocking um, grenadier. Um, but it, it's it's funny because typically we see the new proto troop or the new troop or the new whatever it is that they're working on. We typically see them in warships first, then they port them over to the main island, like rocket choppers, heavy choppers, bombardiers. Um, those troops were exclusive to warships for a long time. Um, not that it's a bad thing if they go outside of that, but I'm just saying that typically, um, typically we see the new stuff come to warships first. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the uh, with the shocking grenadiers. I think it's definitely one of the more hype uh, proto. Da, 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 proto troops that we've seen in a while um yeah rather than just kind of recycling the old ones but let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think maybe i'm way off on this are we going to beat this stage seven of dr terrence that is the real question here all of our scorchers have gone down i think what we got to do here is we got to recalculate let's go like that i missed the cannon and let's heal up here mr grenadiers I think we can still have a chance here. Those critters with Everspark are great. I wonder if anyone's ever figured out this combination of using Everspark with the Grenadiers. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, so then we're going to come down around the side. I don't know if we're going to have enough juice to pull this one off. 
So let's flare them up this way. Just got to watch that mortar. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to... Uh, I don't think we'll be able to snipe the HQ, but we will get close to that. Okay, we went with the shock there. I flared them a little... I, I flared them kind of close, but I also want to keep them away from that boom cannon. Uh, which I think we'll be able to do. We should be able to build up some critters. The problem with using Grenadiers and Everspark, I guess, is that the Grenadiers are going to blow up all the critters. So maybe it's not as uh, crazy of a strategy as we thought. I think we can take out that Boom Cannon, then we'll be set. That stuff is really close to going down. Actually, you know what? I think we're good to just go right now. Uh, I'm going to throw some artilleries on there just to keep those critters uh, alive and healthy for an extra second. Keep the boom cannon off the grenadiers. This is going to be close. I don't, know if, I don't know if we got this one. The trick is we got to keep those critters alive to distract for the, for the stupid grenadiers that could not be taking a longer time to take down the HQ. But uh, either way, either way. I'll leave you guys with that. You guys let me know what you want to see in Season 24. I'm excited. I'm hopeful that uh, we'll see something, something new and exciting. But... Uh, you never know. You never know. Even if we don't, a, a new worship season is always a lot of fun. So, are we going to get this or what is going on here? Come on, Grenadiers. Uh-oh, the boom cannon's looking at them. Uh, I think we got it. It's just going to take an awfully long time. Do, 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 do. I need, like, that circuit, circus music. They're so goofy. Um. Yep. Yeah. Just about. Just about. Come on, boys. Come on, Grenadiers. Launch those bottles. Oh, my God. <laughs> I guess this is why people don't use Grenadiers and, uh, and Everspark. Because it takes an unbelievably long amount of time to do any little bit of damage. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Do we have what it takes? We've taken out everything behind the HQ. We're taking out everything around the HQ. Boom! There it is. Stage 7 goes down. We're back, back, back. So guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.